This is just what I've been thinking in, you know, the hundred times that I've rewatched this show. Wow. Hey there, YouTube. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. It is I, Nadia the Nerdy. Today, we are going to be getting into one of my all-time favorite topics, and that is Avatar The Last no! Airbender. And, um, of course, I had to wear this Abba shirt because, you know. Oh, and I also have this, uh, Suki over there back there there's a appa stuffed animal too so you know we in this <laughs> that's pretty neat i just finished re-watching avatar for probably like the hundredth time recently and it really made me want to address something that's been weighing on my mind for quite some time now it's what i would consider one of the biggest plot holes in the entire series and by entire series i mean just the original three seasons not including legend of korra of course because that is a whole other topic when it comes to plot holes but in this video we will be talking about what i think is the biggest plot hole in the original three seasons of avatar the last airbender and that is the day of black sun and i don't mean the entire arc i mean the actual day itself and the final plan that they move forward with in the third season so yeah let's kind of get into why i think that because i'd be interested to hear what you think let me know if this this is just something I've been overthinking, or are you with me on this? Also, just a formality before we move on, probably will be spoilers if you haven't seen the show or you haven't maybe gotten through the whole show, you have been warned. So yeah, The Day of Black Sun is kind of like a big old plot hole in my opinion. It's not that I don't love season three because actually some of my all-time favorite episodes take place season three. So I definitely have a lot of love for that part of the show. I'm not saying I don't see why why the writers made the choices that they did make because overall obviously we all know like Avatar is just pretty much flawless in so many ways. I mean, it's just a timeless, timeless show that's like incredible for all ages and there's so many reasons why it's amazing, which we can definitely get into in another video. Here's the thing though. After the gang leaves Ba Sing Se, that's when the plot starts to not make as much sense. Here's the main reason why it's a plot hole. And maybe my definition of plot hole is like not right. So again, let me know in the comments what you think, but basically it's because because the gang and the crew that they're with are all surprised that the Fire Nation knew that they were going to attack on the day of Black Sun during the eclipse. Because why were they surprised? Why? No, really though. Why were they surprised that the Fire Nation knew? Why? 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 Because let's remember that Azula, Azula, of all people. It's a sharp outfit, Chan. Careful, you could puncture the hull of an Empire-class Fire Nation battleship, leaving thousands to drown at sea. Because it's so sharp. Took control over Ba Sing Se, and she did it while the gang was still in the city. She literally executed a coup. All the Earth Kingdom generals, so every single one of those generals knew about the invasion plan and knew about the eclipse. It's not just the invasion, it's the eclipse. So they know when the eclipse is gonna be, and they know <laughs> that most likely something's still going to try to happen on that day. But then when Aang sees that the city has been deserted he goes back to the group and says nobody's there and they're all like oh my god they knew how did they know oh my god it's like bro do you not remember azula capturing everybody like five episodes ago I the woman was too stunned to speak am, am i missing something can we make it make sense because it's not computing in my brain. So, of course, the Fire Nation knew. Maybe they didn't know in what form, but they definitely knew that something was gonna happen because they knew about the eclipse, so they're not gonna be 
dumb. This is a nation that's been at war and winning at war for over a hundred years at that point and they wouldn't take some sort of precaution after getting this crucial information from the Earth Kingdom generals. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's because it's a children's show and they're not gonna like explicitly say like, oh, they tortured the generals to get the information, but Azula took over Ba Sing Se. Like, enough said, you know? So that's the part that's a plot hole to me because you're telling me that nobody in the gang, nobody, none of the adults that were with them thought about the fact the Fire Nation captured all of the Earth Kingdom generals who knew about the eclipse? I do see how the gang wouldn't really want to let the eclipse go to waste. It's definitely an opportune moment to do something, but I don't think that their plan with a small ragtag team was the move. I think trying to take down the entire Fire Nation capital and Ozai was a little bit ambitious. And to be honest, I haven't mapped out exactly how the show would be different otherwise. Obviously that would be all speculation because I am not in the mind of the creator but there are some things that I think would be the same regardless of what the gang decided to do with that time. Here's some of that. So I do think the Fire Nation would have prepared for some sort of attack on the capital and they still would have gone into their bunkers. And I do still think that Zuko would have confronted his father during the eclipse, same as in the original story. Because in reality, that's pretty independent of whether or not the gang actually attacked the capital because they still would have been in the bunker. And Zuko still would have gone to that war meeting previously, which was kind of a catalyst for him. Another thing that I think would have happened regardless is Iroh still would have broken out of prison. Obviously, he's just doing his own thing in beast mode over there, regardless of what anyone else is doing on either side. So Iroh would have still broken out of jail. And now a little speculation on what could possibly be different. <laughs> Obviously, there would be incredible ripple effects for the final part of the season. I don't know. We can go down the whole what ifs in another video if you're interested in that. But because I can't act like I fully scoped out all of the implications for the rest of the show, but I do feel like there are some other options that they could have explored maybe to see like, is this ambitious plan really the best choice over time or should we do something else? So here here are the things that I think it might have made more sense for the gang to do in terms of militaristic strategy. <laughs> Obviously, I am no aficionado when it comes to military strategy, but this is just what I've been thinking in, you know, the hundred times that I've rewatched this show. Okay, so what if they went on a stealth mission to recapture Ba Sing Se? That could have been a major win. I mean, the Fire Nation just secured it. If they got Ba Sing Se back and then freed the Earth Generals, because obviously, like, since the Fire Nation captured Ba Sing Se, there's still a strong Fire Nation presence there. So the Eclipse wouldn't have been wasted because all of the guards would have still been Fire Nation. Even the Dai Li wasn't there. Azula had taken them with her to the Fire Nation. So it's it's never really clear who was left in charge of the city at the end of season two. Another potential option could have been maybe hitting one of the Fire Nation military bases, a strategic one, one that would really matter because clearly the Fire Nation is everywhere. They probably have so many bases. I mean, we see some of them throughout the show, but you never really know like which ones are the most important. I feel like they could have done a little reconnaissance since figured that out like they clearly had other bases that they were operating out of so if they did stealth missions to take down a base or a few bases that could have been pretty impactful like dude what if they had taken down Ozai's airship base because that's one of the primary ways that they were getting all over the place was through these airships of course I know that they don't know about Ozai's plan to burn down the Earth Kingdom but regardless of knowing that it would still still be incredibly strategic to take down that base. 
And the gang had all that time undercover in the Fire Nation. They could have been learning the whole time. And then who knows, like maybe if they did do that, maybe Hakoda would still get captured and Zuko would still help Sokka rescue his dad and Suki at the Boiling Rock because we all know those are some of the best episodes in the whole series. So we can't lose those. <laughs> Again, I am clearly no military aficionado, but it just seems to me like taking down the Fire Nation capital with just like what, like they had like 30 people, maybe a little more. I don't know if that was really the best use of their resources, to be honest. Um, and again, why the heck were they surprised? That's the part that really gets me. It's like, if you know that they know, then you can, I don't know, use that. I mean, come on. I know you. You know you. And I know you know that I know you. But if you're surprised that they know, then it's like, how are you surprised? How did you not know that they knew, though. I get that part of the reasoning they went for the capital was specifically so Aang could fight Ozai during the eclipse, but again, I still can't get over it that they were surprised that the Fire Nation knew that they were coming. Like, no one thought, hmm, we should switch our strategy to focus on another target that may not be quite as important but could still be impactful. You're telling me that Hakoda, the chief of the Southern Modern Tribe, and an incredibly seasoned warrior, Bato, a seasoned warrior, they never proposed that idea? Huh? What do you what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Make it make sense. Am I the only one who thinks this? What do you guys think? Is there something that I'm missing? Or is it a full-on plot hole? Or let me know what your Avatar plot holes are. What do you think are the biggest plot holes in Avatar? Mainly the original series, but if you want to throw in your Legend of Korra plot holes, that wouldn't hurt. We all know that that one has a little, is a little more, um, like Swiss cheese than uh, the regular Avatar show, but you know, you can still appreciate it for what it is. Um, anyway, I digress. But yeah, let me know for real because this is something that I've been thinking about for a while, so I'm interested to hear what others think. Anyway, thank you so much for going down this little rabbit hole of Avatar what ifs with me. And again, seriously, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I need to know, it's for research purposes and confirmation bias, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Okay. And let me know what Avatar The Last Airbender topics you'd like to see me cover in the future as well. Because clearly I can talk about Avatar anytime, any day, like, you want to talk about Avatar, I am here for okay. it. And if you made it to this point, please like that like button. Like the like button, okay? What? Um, ciao. Anyway, so click the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well so that you can see more videos like this where we get into different nerdy topics and talk about Avatar some more probably. So yeah, don't forget to do that. Like, subscribe, comment, let me know your thoughts, and I will see you next time. Bye!